Dress Your Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. So let's get started. To draw this cute crab, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw two big ovals that are stuck together. Just going to one big long oval, tall oval, and then another one right next to it. There, so two big ovals together. Now we're going to come inside and towards the center edge more, we're going to draw another oval inside. And I'll come right here and put a circle for a highlight and then shade everything else in. And same thing over here. There. Now my eyes in, I'm going to come above each eye and I'm just going to draw a soft curve over each eye. Then let's go ahead and we're going to come to the top, right, find our center, say about right here, right in between. And actually, you know what, let's bring this down a little bit more, right here in between the brow area. And we're going to go up over the eye and come right down. So same thing over here. Go right up and come down. So now that we have those two curves in, let's bring this down a little bit more. Kind of about right here. And same thing here. Now that we're done with these two big curves at the top, we're going to come about right here and we're going to draw in the cheek. So pop out a curve. And same thing here. Just pop out this curve for some cheeks. And then we're going to draw the uh, mouth. So let's find our center once again, and I'll say about right here, I'll just give myself a point. And from here, I'm just gonna draw this curve right underneath the eyes. And using this as my guide, I'm gonna come right here and draw two curves right in the cheek area. And I'm going to bring this curve down and go back up, just so I know where I'm going. So same thing here, and go back up. There. And then from there, we're going to bring this big curve at the bottom to widen out the mouth for a big smile. And then come in here with a tongue, so two curves. Now that we have that in, now we can go ahead and just draw a curve at the bottom to finish off the mouth, the chin area. So same thing here. There. So now we have Sebastian's head in. And now that we have that done, let's go ahead and we can draw his body. So we're going to give him this little neck right here and here. And let's go ahead and connect it. Curve. And then we're going to come around. We're going to start his body. Give him this little collar for his shell. and connect. Then let's come down, come in a little bit, and we're just going to start with a curve in here as well. So then from there, if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this small curve that we're going to draw for his body. But because I'm using a Sharpie, I don't want to erase. I'm going to come right here and just start one of his legs. So I'm going to bring this down, cross right here, and same thing here. So I just want to get these legs kind of where they're going then so I can just go ahead and finish the body first. So we know where everything is. And connect. Now that we know where his body is, let's go ahead and finish these legs. So I'm just going to bring this out a little bit more and come down the curve and connect it. So we're just simplifying the legs. I'm going to put one more right in the back right here. And let's just pop out this little curve right here just for indication of more legs, but without having to go too many details. And wherever it bends right here, just add a little curve. So let's do the same thing here. 
So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring this down just like the other side. I'm just going to drag a point across so I kind of know where I'm going. Same thing on the other side. Down. And we have one that comes in right here. And one more that kind of just pops out, just an indication of more legs in the back there. And then now for his two big claws. So we're gonna come about right here in this area. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out. This part's pretty scrawny. Then we're going to connect it with a curve, cap it off. So this is gonna be our first layer and then we're gonna go wider, one more layer and connect with a curve. So everything is still at this angle. And then from there, let's go ahead, we're gonna draw the claw. So come out with a curve. And then about right here, we're going to pop in a curve. And bring it down, and curve in, wobble, down off the tip. And then we're just going to bring this all the way around. So we're just creating this claw shape right here. And then in here, we're just gonna pop in this claw part right there. Okay, so let's do the same thing on the other side. So once again, just like the other side, scrawny little part right here. Then about here, we're gonna cap it off. Then go one more layer. And curve. Make sure we don't run into the cheek and then curve and curve. So then right here, I'm just going to round this part off, give it a little dip and connect. And then right here, add that little part right there. Now that we're done with his claws, let's go back right here before I forget, and we're going to just draw part of his shell, just an indication of his shell. Just so come to the back right here, and we're just gonna draw a curve to go around. There. And last but not least, you know what? I'm just gonna add a heart right here in the center to make this my draw so cute Sebastian from Little Mermaid. And I thought it'd be really cute if we just gave uh, Sebastian here a little background. So if you want to do that, let's come about right here. Just, just going to give him a little background right here in the ocean, some sand, and some seaweed, of course. So let's go up. So I am definitely starting a new series. Hopefully I can keep it up for all the Little Mermaid characters. So definitely let me know in the comments below what's your favorite character from Little Mermaid. And that's right here. And I definitely plan to redraw my Little Mermaid. So hopefully you're looking forward to this. So I'm just gonna draw some seaweed. And let's come here and draw some bubbles. So we know that Sebastian is in the water. <laughs> so here and there, let's draw some bubbles. And maybe here you can just draw some little circles, indication of sand. And that is pretty much it for my version of Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. Thanks so much for watching and I really hope I helped you draw this fun and easy. And if you loved it, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.